Hi everyone! Welcome back to Flackbox Channel. I'm Shaina and I'm doing a vlog series about my journey in reviewing for the CCNA. If you just found this video and if you're new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you won't miss any of my videos. I hope guys you like my previous video how I overcome my struggles in reviewing. I hope guys it will somehow encourage you to continue reviewing and keep pursuing your goals in life especially your goals in building your career in IT and on this video I want to share with you how I understand the subnetting and VLSM topic from the course but before we proceed guys I want to remind you and encourage you to join the affiliate program by Flakbox. This program is exclusive for us students of Flakbox. If you are enrolled in the CCNA course of Flakbox, I believe you also receive this email with the topic of Flakbox CCNA student invite. This email was sent to us by Neil Anderson, our instructor. It was said on the email how this affiliate program will benefit to us as a student who is studying CCNA and aside from studying we can earn commission by just sharing our link to our fellow colleagues so you can see from the email how it works the first thing is we just need to share the links to download the free lab guides and courses on our social media accounts and study groups and the most important thing here is we can get 40% commission on the sale whenever someone clicks one of our links and then goes on to buy and paid course within three months it was very easy guys you just need to click the link from the email and then apply share and get paid our instructor put all the efforts to provide us the best review that we need to pass the ccna and then we will also have an opportunity to earn commission by just sharing these review materials that we have it's very easy guys so let's take advantage of this and other details can be seen on the website if you want to learn more about this affiliate program just check your email and go to the website where the link directs you for the update of my review so i am now on section 8 of this course and it's more on subnetting i made a video of this one because i noticed that subnetting covers a great part on the course and i believe most of the questions from the ccna exam will come from this topic and i want to share with you how i compute for the network address host address broadcast address i want to share with you how i do my computation here honestly guys during my college days this is one of my favorite topics from all of the topics. It's been a long time since I used my brain in this situation. And you know, we need some mathematics here. And when I'm doing the exercises, it's like everything is flashing back. I recalled my strategies before and I want to share it with you. At present, guys, we are very busy on our day jobs and... We seldomly use mathematics on our everyday life. I know we are very good with that, especially when we need to compute for our salary during paydays or whenever we get our pay slip. But now guys, let's use some of our brain cells to absorb this topic because this topic is very important and very critical. I believe most of the questions will really come from this topic. I'm assuming guys that we already have a review what is subnet mask is and what are the IP address classes. We already know the differences between those classes from class A to class E. So we don't need to review that or include that on this video. And we really need to pay extra attention on this topic because if you missed one answer you will lose all of the points from that question i have here a whiteboard guys to show you how i understand it and how i compete for it so if you have some other tips for me you can share it with me to the comment section just post it on the comment section and let's see if i can also use your technique so let's get our example from the video it's on section 8 
with the topic of subnetting practice question i suggest if you're here on this part i suggest guys please do not cheat on this part if our instructor says post the video let's post the video and grab our pen and paper and let's compute for the answer the question from there is what are the network address broadcast address and valid host addresses for the ip address 198.22.45.173 slash 26 so let's write the question or let's write the given here on our whiteboard so it's going to be 198.22.45.173 sorry for my bad handwriting and by the way guys as you can see i am a left-handed person and the second question is what is the subnet mask in dotted decimal notation it's also instructed here to post the video and let's compete for the answer let's do that guys so this is how i get it the first thing that i'm doing here guys i need to know what is the ip address class of the given ip address since this starts from 198 i know this is a class c because the class c range from 192 to 223 for the first octet so i know that this is a class c and the default subnet for class c is slash 24 definitely we have a two borrowed bits here two borrowed bits for the network address in binary that's gonna be one 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 eight ones here dot eight ones and another eight ones and we have two bits here and the rest are zeros so that's a total of 26 ones and we know guys that the value of this on the decimal is this is one two eight sixty four so, uh write it clear here it's going to be one one zero 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 the line is going to be here this is 64 so i know that every after 64 counts that's gonna be the network address if this ip address will start from zero it's gonna be 198.22.45.0 this is gonna be the beginning of the network address and then guys before all the zeros so guys you put a line here and the number before all the zeros or before the line is 64 i know every after 64 counts the address will be the network address so this is gonna be 198.22.45.0 if we will start from 198.22.45.0 the next thing guys is it's gonna be dot 64 so what i'm doing guys i make three columns on my scratch paper and i call that a three magic column trick let's put a line here to make it three columns here and we have here we have three columns now i just draw two lines and the first column will be my net all my network address network address and the second column will be all my host address host address and the third column will be my broadcast address and then i fill up all the network address first so it's gonna be every after 64 counts so it will be like that 64 and the next is 64 plus 64 that's 128 so that 128 plus 64 that's 192 let's complete the address after i fill up all the ip address i will fill up next the broadcast address i just need to subtract one from the network address every network address so before 64 that's gonna be dot 63 and then before dot 128 that's gonna be dot 127 and before dot 192 that's gonna be dot 191 so those are the broadcast address for every line so let's fill this out address here 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 so that's gonna be dot 63 and 192 plus 64 
that's gonna be 256 and for 256 it's 255 so we will put 255 here all right so we already completed the network addresses and broadcast addresses and definitely the host addresses are the address between network and broadcast address so let's just fill this out it's gonna be ending on dot one two dot fifty two and sixty four dot sixty five two dot one two seven dot one two nine two dot one ninety and dot one ninety three two dot two five four from the question which is the concerned ip address one ninety eight dot twenty two dot forty five dot one seventy three so this ip address falls here here it falls here and this is now our answers to the question what is the network address and the broadcast address and the host addresses it's very easy to illustrate if we will use this three column trick as you can see this is how i understand or compute for the subnet and other vlsm questions and you can also try to do the same if you have other suggestion for me you can share it with me to the comment section and let me see if i can also use that and the most important thing guys during the exam let's do not write by mistake because like what i said one mistake is the loose of everything i hope you learned something from this video and i hope you enjoyed watching my video if you learned something and if you like it please hit that like button and if you haven't subscribed i suggest to hit the subscribe button right now and let's also connect guys on my linkedin account in that way we can also collaborate with each other here's my linkedin account just connect with me and i will also connect to you and also please do not forget to follow us on our social media accounts the link to our social media account is on the description below for the next chapters that's gonna be about the data link layer physical layer cisco device function and the life of a pocket i hope you enjoyed watching this video and feel free to download the lab guide exercises for free the link to that is also on the description below and see you on my next video